Hi everyone, we're here again, this time to do some more exercises. We're going to do the first three problems from exercise 27 on page 26. Uh, this is from chapter 5 of Shalmerdine's text, and what we're working on is both aorist tense and then possessive genitive sandwiches. We've also learned now um, nouns of the first and second declension. So these things are all at stake. Uh, so we're going to, let's break these things up and figure out what we're trying to say. I forgot a period there. Draw that in. So the soldiers were guarding the village. This is going to be subject, verb, direct object. That's easy. Guarding takes an accusative, so we don't need to worry about this being dative or genitive. Soldiers, we'll get to that, but this will be a nominative subject, and were guarding. This is classic imperfect. So knowing that, let's get started. So soldiers are masculine items, so we'll use the masculine uh, plural nominative form, hoy. And then we'll remember that the uh, dictionary entry is stratiotes. This is one of those first declension yet masculine forms. So that's the nominative singular. We need to come up with the nominative plural. So remember that those first declension masculines end in ace, u, a, this is class A of them, um, ain, a, in the vocative, and then in the plural we get i, own, ice, and then as, and then again vocative is always identical in the plural, so i. Uh, this is the class A, we could also have the class B, uh, where we had long alpha sigma, but then we just see a persistent long alpha, um, everything else stays the same. So this is of class A though, we don't need to worry about class B, which is the neoneus type. So stratiotes becomes stratiotai. That is a diphthong, short at the end of a word, means that we need to change this into a circumflex. Stratiotai, the soldiers, we're guarding the village. Now, I'll do this a lot in my uh, answer keys. Uh, Greek tended to like to do, instead of a subject, verb, direct, object order, Greek preferred subject, direct, object, and then verb. This wouldn't happen all the time, but it's a good practice to be into. Um, really, I'll be happy with you as long as you're doing everything right. The order doesn't matter so much, but this is slightly more authentic in most cases. So we want to do the village next. So the village, what is the word for village? It's kome, and that's feminine. So we want to make it accusative, so we add that new, and then we need to give it an article, tain kome, hoi stratiotai tain kome, we're guarding. So fulato is I guard, I am guarding. So we need to make this both past tense, imperfect, and uh, third person plural. So that's the easy part, past indicative augment. And now we're in the imperfect zone. We remember that our third person plural is omicron nu. Uh, everyone draw this out with me at home. These are our imperfect endings. On, s, n, amen, ete, and then on. So again, identical to the first person singular, but we have hoi stratiotai here, these soldiers, so it's very clear that we're talking third person they, not I. Uh, if we were to think, I was guarding the village, what, what would we do with this nominative stratiotai? There'd be nothing to do. So the only thing that we can is take these together as subject verb agreement. This is short, so the accent falls back on the anti-penal ephulaton. Good, the soldiers were guarding the village. Let's lighten up our color and do number two. We marched into the country of the Persians. That's going to be a simple past, and therefore it's going to be aorist. Into the country, this is going to be a prepositional phrase, uh, and then we remember country is kora, so we'll figure that out when we get there. And then of the Persians, we'll remember that Persian itself is a uh, masculine first declension noun. So we're gonna, it's going to be function much like stratiotai. So we marched. Well, march is strateo. I am marching. That's the first principal part. If we know the third principal part, and again, this is a fairly regular one, 
we know that that's going to have an epsilon here for the past tense, past indicative augment, and then a sigma here. And now we need to make that we. So that's going to be a men ending, and then remember that it's aorist, so it's going to take an alpha, a short alpha. So amen uh, puts the accent right there. Estrato summon. This is one of the longest words we've seen in Greek so far. We, we were in that aorist, or sorry, we simple passed. We simple passed, marched into the country. So we do ace here, and then this takes an accusative. Tain Koran. Remember that's still a long alpha. We marched into the country, and then we want to say the country of the Persians. Well, we could do that two ways. Let's, uh, since we didn't leave space here, let's go ahead and specify the country that's of the Persians. And these are going to be plural. And first declension means we don't even need to think about where that accent goes. Tain Koran, Tain Ton Person. Of course, kind of an alternative here, I'll write it in gray, would be that we sandwich. So we could do tain koran and then make it the country of the Persians that way. So equally acceptable. Either one's going to work out great. Let's just go with this re repl uh, reduplicated article here. Uh, and we'll be able to just know that that other one exists. So finally, maybe let's go for green. The generals of the Athenians tried to stop the battle. So remember that this is going to be conative and perfect. This is going to be a direct object and the accusative. Uh, Pawo takes an accusative. And then the generals of the Athenians. So maybe we'll want to start off with a sandwich here. So generals is going to be hoi. And then strategoi is the plural. Strategos is the singular. This is standard second declension masculine noun. So I put an acute accent here, but we're, we're probably going to need to turn it grave in the end. So of the Athenians, tone. And then this is going to get a little bit tight, but I think we can do it. Athenai oi is the masculine plural nominative. So we just need to make that a second that second declension noun genitive plural. Because it's second declension, we don't have that accent automatically moving over the omega. It's because this is Athenaios that or oi, sorry, Athenaios that we know that we can make this a second declension and the accent stays where it wants to right there. So hoi ton Athenaion strategoi the generals of the Athenians, tried to stop the battle. And again, let's pay attention to the subject, direct, object, verb, order. So if we wanted to look at what we got here so far, this is all the subject. So now we're going to want the direct object, and then finally, the verb. So going back, the soldier, or general, sorry, this is where we get the word strategic from. Uh, it, it comes with military implications, strategery, as uh, the generals, uh, the generals of the Athenians, the battle tried to stop. So we remember that battle is machain, and that's feminine, accent on the anti, or sorry, the penal, and then tried to stop. So powo is I am stopping, I stop. We need to make this imperfect, so we add the past indicative augment, and then we need to make it third person plural, which is Amakaran Nu. We have that right here. So, Epawan. The generals of the Athenians were stopping, tried to stop, that's an Amakaran, not a Sigma, the battle. Full stop. Good, I hope that was helpful and that you can do exercises, uh, exercise 27, numbers 4 through 6 without too much of a hassle. See you next time.